So in this lesson, we are given the diagram below represents the graphs, all right, uh, which is actually the graph of f of x, which is uh, given as uh, f of x is equal to a over x plus p plus q, depending the format that you're given there, and the point t is 5, 3, all right? That is a point on f. So from this information and the diagram that you are given, you are being asked on 4.1 to determine the values of A, P, and Q. Take note. A, P, and Q, which are the values that we see on this function, our hyperbola. So as we are given this, all right, so let us consider, uh, you can just write as Y is equal to A over X plus P plus Q as we have that. Remember, P and Q can be substituted uh, from the asymptotes, right? According to our graph, we can see these broken lines uh, passing through the point four. So this is the line of X is equal to four. And also for this one, Y is equal to two. This is an uh, asymptote. So meaning to say, if we were to substitute into this uh, formula, if we're to substitute uh, the value of x that we are seeing as 4, if we were to take it back to the formula, it was going to be written as what? As a negative. All right? We're going to have this value as what? As a negative here. If you are to substitute like this, y is equal to a over whatever that you're going to have, it was going to be minus four the value here all right this is your y-axis guys x so it's on the positive so it changes when you substitute that so take note the p that we are talking about represents this value which is what the minus four so in that case guys our p is negative four and our q was going to be positive two remember q uh, is the value of y as it is it is not uh, affected, you take that one as it is. So that is the condition. That is the P that we are seeing on this part. So guys, on the format, uh, if we are to say this way, let's say we are given Y is equal to any number A over X minus uh, 4 plus 2 like this. X is equal to 4 x is equal to 4 is the asymptote. The x is equal to 4 is the asymptote. But in terms of the x value, like uh, talking of the value which is on our equation in terms of the presentation there, it is something else. That one, it is something else that we are uh, to relate. Uh, so it is uh, best that you must consider the function that you are given properly. All right? The function that you are given there properly on the substitution. Then what about A? If we are to substitute this, we can calculate uh, the value of A uh, in this one. We just have to substitute any point and we are given the point T, uh, which is 5, 3. So this point T, which is 5, 3. We have the x value, the y value there. So meaning to say our y being 3, at that moment our x is what? Our x is 5. So that's 5 minus 4 plus 2. So you can solve for a. So 3 is equal to a over what? Uh, 5 minus 4, that's 1, guys, plus 2. So you can take 2 to the other side. It will be a negative. Uh, that's 3 minus 2, which is 1, is equal to a. So that is the value of A. So that is it, guys. You can even substitute here, uh, meaning to say our function is 1 over X minus 4 plus what? Plus 2. Just like that. So these are some of the typical questions that we are given. Uh, we have to be careful in the presentation of our formula, how it is given. All right? The formula, how it is given, there is the one that is important. 4.2, if the graph of F is reflected across the line, Having the equation, all right, when it is reflected 
on this line, which, which type of an equation is this one? When you are given this uh, under a hyperbola, minus x plus c. Remember I talked about this type of an equation. This is for the axis of symmetry with a negative gradient. So this is the axis of symmetry. They are giving you the axis of symmetry not in disguise there. So they are saying if we are to reflect that one along that, and we know that the one with the negative gradient for the axis of symmetry will be like this. All right? It will be of this nature. Passing through the intersection of the asymptotes like this. So we are reflecting this graph or this one. So reflecting one goes to another one, another one to another. That is what it means. So they are saying uh, the new graph coincides with the graph of y is equal to f of x. Determine the value of c. When there is a reflection there, the new graph is going to coincide. So what does it mean? That is, they meet at the point of intersection and so far, we know that y is equal to what? I mean, uh, the point that we are given there. Because whether it is going to cause... Or th this equation, guys, is not going to change. For this equation of the asymptote, we know that they do meet. They will meet again back to that same uh, point, all right? Uh, whether it is a positive, whether it is a negative gradient, they will meet at the same point here where we have our uh, asymptotes, 4, 2. X is 4, Y is 2 for the asymptotes. So it was just a matter of substituting that point, uh, 4, 2, for the what? Uh, for the asymptotes. We've got the point, uh, 4, 2. When X is 4, Y is equal to 2. So that's 2 is equal to minus X. X is what? X is 4 plus C. So that's we can substitute uh, there. Uh, this is the x value here in place of x. So it will be minus 4. Then you take to the other side. It was going to be positive 2 plus 4, which is a 6. All right? So that's our c. So therefore, c is equal to what? c is equal to 6. So that's the equation was y is equal to minus x uh, plus, plus 6. So the question was on the c when these are going to coincide. The guys... The grammar that you'll be given, everything, they'll be trying to confuse you there. The C is on the word equation. They after. So what is going to be that equation? That is the case. Because the line will be like this. So please, guys, do revise as many questions uh, that can help.